Hello, I'm Paul Goff, and welcome to my video blog. Today's video blog comes to you in three parts. Part one. Well, part one, I just wanted to go ahead and let everyone know <clears throat> that we have a new member of our family. Oh, no, nothing, nothing like that. I don't know if we've told everyone, but we now have a cat. Hello, everyone, this is our cat. See, his name is Sully. I hold his tail like this because I don't like touching his butt, but it makes him look like he's got some stuff going on over here. I mean, who likes to touch a cat's butt anyway? Anyway, this is our cat. His name is Sully. Oh, you gonna go play, Sully? Can you say hi to everybody? Can you say hi to the people? Say hi, people. Hi, people. Okay. I'll run off. We adopted Sully uh, a couple of months ago. Um, he was meowing at our front door, and I decided to go ahead and take him in and uh, give him something to eat and see if we could find an animal shelter or rescue where we could take him. And um, apparently, Julie and Max saw him a couple of days before on a walk around our um, around our apartment complex, and uh, they were playing around with him and didn't think anything else of it. Uh, but then a couple of days later, he was crying at our front door, and so I brought him in for a little bit and. One thing led to another, and then we had a cat. Um, we decided to go ahead and name him Sully. It's after James P. Sullivan on Monsters, Inc. They call Sully, they call him Kitty for the longest time. That's what we called him. And so Julie said, hey, we might as well name him Sully. So one thing led to another, and now we have a cat. Um, apparently somebody dropped off a bunch of other cats, a litter of kittens in this uh, neighborhood, in, in this apartment complex, hoping people would adopt them. Um, but there were, um, what happened to, actually to a lot of the kittens in the apartment complex is they were, the neighborhood kids were torturing them and throwing them off the balcony and, and so on and so forth. And so we just, you know, I, you know, we found this one and decided to take him in. And thankfully the apartment manager here, she's a huge cat lover. So it all worked out. Everything's great. And Max loves our cat. So that's, I uh, just wanted to tell everyone about our new cat. His name is Sully. Hopefully we'll have um, some more uh, footage we're going to include. Oh, as a matter of fact, you know what? I do have some footage of him I'm going to include. What's going on in there? Part two! All right, for part two for today's uh, video blog, um, I'm gonna talk about my birthday. It was my birthday last uh, week, last Saturday, February the 9th. Um, I turned 33 years old. Um, and it's kind of a weird birthday for me. Um, uh, Jesus was 33 years old when he uh, was crucified, and look at everything that he was able to accomplish by the time he was 33. And I'm 33, and uh, I haven't done nearly as much as he has. But then again, he has the upper hand. He is, you know, uh, the Son of God, so that kind of helps his uh, his situation a little bit. So that was kind of cool. I had I had a great birthday. I got to hang out with my family and um, went and did some shopping with my wife and my son. We went out to dinner, and then we had a bunch of my friends over here at uh, the house for cake and ice cream, which was tons of fun. Um, so I was really happy for that. I got cards from a lot of members of my family, so I was really happy that they remembered me on my special day. Anyway, so anyone who sent me a birthday card and uh, or wish me happy birthday it really does mean a lot to me in, in years past I felt like I've gotten the birthday screw um, as I call it but uh, it was I was really pleased to see that I was remembered and loved by my family anyway I'm a sentimental guy what can I say part three all right well the third part of today's uh, video blog is it in, in this part I'm going to talk about um, a new passion of mine and I'm not sure if uh, Many of you know this, but I've, I've really got into flying uh, kites, especially stunt kites recently. And um, I built a stunt kite. I have it here with me. Here you go. It is um, a Delta-style 
dual line uh, stunt kite. It um, I flew it this weekend. Uh, they had some great winds uh, that were out this weekend, and uh, so on my birthday, I flew it for a little while, and then also on Sunday. Um, I went out and flew it for a little bit. We had 20 mile an hour winds gusting to 30 miles an hour, and so this thing was screaming. It was going, you know, I could cover 100 yards in less than a second with this bad boy, so it was, you know, it was flying. Anyway, it was tons of fun. I hope to have some video posted soon of, uh, of the stunt kite. And, uh, so, uh, I'll post some video up there and, uh, as soon as I get someone who's willing to go outside with me and uh, brave the snow and the wind and everything else, and I'll, I'll show it to you. But it was it was tons of fun. I really enjoyed it a lot. So that's what's new with me. Um, oh yes, <laughs> as a bonus today, a fourth part for today's video blog. There's um, something that was brought to my attention recently: a documentary by Bill Stein um, called. Expulsion? Extinction? Hold on, just a second. I'm back. It's called ex uh, it's called Expelled. Ben Stein's Expelled. It talks about uh, scientists who believe in in uh, in intelligent design. I think it's a really interesting uh, trailer. I'm going to include a link to the trailer over here. Uh, go ahead and take a look at it. Tell me what you think, and I'm going to discuss this trailer in next week's blog. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you around.